You know, it, it's actually, you know, uh, it's the funky, you know, kind of umami, salty flavors, the naga pork, you know, the fermented soybean, you know, the bean shoots, all these kind of things are really delicious and different. Uh, the standard was really high and I encouraged them to you know give a little bit of maybe Australian flavor by introducing some different ingredients which was you know for some of the judges ooh, can we do that but they tried they did a good, they did a really good job but but in fact my favorite dishes were traditional uh, naga dishes cooked what makes us what similarities we have rather than what makes us different and delicious food is just delicious food wherever you are your first visit to Nagaland yes. and how had been the experience uh, you know going around Nagaland and about the food it's know, it's it's a hard and fast experience i would have been here only what four or five days so far but i've experienced a lot i've had some beautiful hospitality we stayed in some you know beautiful guest house which was my you know like my first impression was how hospitable and warm and generous people are and that's just continued throughout you know my my days so far so it's been really wonderful and the food of course Ah, oh, my goodness, yeah. You know, it, it's actually, you know, uh, it's the funky, you know, kind of umami, salty flavours, the naga pork, you know, the mm -hmm. fermented soybean, you know, the bean shoots, all these kind of things are really delicious. And different ingredients too, you know, all the insects and things like that. That's been fascinating for me. So I've really enjoyed it. And being part of Naga Chef, yes. you know, so it's you're, nice. You're, you're being the guest judge too yeah. of Naga Chef. Yeah, how lucky Chef. am I? So, that's so good. good <laughs> and so uh, how have been the, you know, like, you have to taste it, uh, yeah. what they have prepared. So yeah. I was really pleased with, I mean, they're all home cooks, and I was pleased that um, they really tried hard. They had 45 minutes to cook two dishes. Mm -hmm. uh, the standard was really high, and I encouraged them to, you know, give a little bit of maybe Australian flavor by introducing some different ingredients, mm -hmm. which was, you know, for some of the judges, ooh, can we do that? Yeah. But they tried, and they did a, good, they did a really good job. But, but in fact, my favorite dishes were traditional uh, naga dishes cook really beautifully, great ingredients, um, and cook very beautifully, very carefully, and with attention to detail. So, you know, it shows you've got something to be proud of. So I think most of the items that you have tasted today or you have seen today are for the first time? Yeah, c certainly. I've eaten some things before, like grasshoppers. I've eaten things like locust, and I've had uh, the mm -hmm. hornet larvae uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. so I was kind of prepared. But and don't forget, we have widgety grubs in Australia too, which are like really big, fat, you know, grubs that are, are in, growing in trees. Um, but yes, the carpenter worm I've never had before um, and the spiders. So that was a new experience for me. And really, yeah, great, delicious. So what is the prospect that you see out of this Naga Chef competition that has been played? Uh, you know what I think it is? I just think it's uh, every... You know, and I'm a world traveler, you know, I travel all over the world and, you know, all my, all the cuisines are my favorite cuisines. Wherever I am, I take something from it. And it, you know, don't forget food like art and music are, you know, great unifiers in a world now that seems to be divided over the most, you know, ridiculous things. Mm -hmm. So I think the idea of, um, you know, Naga food becoming more popular around the world, and I think it's there already, but it's more popular and promoting Hornbill, just, you know, it, it opens the... The, it opens the idea to so many people that um, what makes us, what similarities we have rather than what makes us different. And delicious food is just delicious food wherever you are. So will we expect you coming back here again? In the yeah, future? but on holiday this time instead of working. Oh, right. How about that? Yeah. All right, Thank, Thank you so you. much for being with us.
Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.